in the last video we have seen how the low frequency information is preserved and uh, by deleting what we call the high frequency components. So now B uh, matrix which carry the filtered uh, part of the first image which is something but the low low uh, frequency information is available in B where A is the original image. So we try to uh, subtract the original image minus the low pass version so this will give you a figure number three and that figure number three if you try to display it will be looking like this so you can see that this is figure number three this is figure number two and this is figure number one so this is the original image and this image uh, consisting of all the information high frequency as well as low frequency whereas this image is the blurred versions of the uh, you know the minute details or what you call the add details uh, are already lost here but uh, here we can see that only the edge information is preserved here so this is the way of how uh, image can be filtered you know based on the high frequency and low, low frequency method but of course you know you'll find that this edge which is formed by this method is not detecting almost all the edges but the or we can say that edge is very weak the detected edge is weak so we have to find some other method of you know finding a better edge okay so that's why we are going for other type of operators called the Laplacian operators. So we'll see how the Laplacian operator can be implemented using MATLAB. So here we'll be uh, using the Laplacian operator to find the edge detector. Already we said that the first method we have seen the edges are very poor so we have to enhance the edge features so that's why we are using the Laplacian operator. So here the, the mask is like we are considering the nearest neighbors so that's why the center mask is having a value 4 and we apply this uh, mask on the, the input image which is A and we got the value O1 and this O1 if you display we can see that we have uh, a new uh, I mean the edge which we found in figure number 3 and figure number 4 the figure number 3 is having you know a better or a stronger edge so most of the edge information are preserved in this particular information I mean in this particular image so the edge information is become uh, more detailed edge information is available in the case of the Laplacian operator now let us try to apply the mask for the uh, all neighbors, I mean 8 neighbors, so that's where we change the mask. Now the new mask is M2, M2 we are uh, going to apply on the input image A and uh, the variable that we have we have to uh, uh, use is O2 here, I'm just using the O2 variable. So O2 is the image after the uh, Laplacian operator for the 8 neighbors and we try to display the value. Let's see what is the kind, of, kind of the output that we have hit. So we can see that these are three, you know, results of the three operations. This is the first operations, whereas only uh, very uh, limited informations of the edges preserved here, and this has become more edges. You know, many edges is already detected here, and we can see that the edge with their strength or the intensity, because different edges having what different intensity. So this is the best, you know, edge detector algorithm. Or the 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 filter mask. Now here we are uh, trying to do some enhancement technique uh, in which uh, the original image, which is uh, boosted or amplified by two times, and while we are subtracting the 0.5 times the uh, low passed information. So which means that from the uh, original image we are going to subtract. A fraction of what I call the smooth image. So this will, you know, give some of the features, you know, enhancement of the some of the features that you can see here. So when the uh, this is the uh, input image, and this is the image after doing, you know, the the technique of two times original minus 0.5 times the low pass version. So you can see that some of the features is highlighted. We can see that the overall uh, contrast of the image is enhanced. So here is another process where we are going to add the edge information to the original image. So the edge will be enhanced further. But we are not going to add the complete edges, only a 0.25% percent, 0.75% of the edge information is added to the original image. And we try to get the, the output image. We found that the output image having a stronger or you know uh, thicker edges as compared to what we call the, the original image.